Pakistan, back in Karachi for this literature festival. Uh, even though I really originally came to Pakistan, not on a book tour for a change, but to promote a movement. In uh, 2008, I won a prize. Uh, every year, 10 conferences give awards to people whom they think have made a difference in the world, but who, with their help, would make more of an impact. And I knew exactly what I wanted. Because after 20 years of studying the religions of the world, um, I, it, I've become aware that every single one of them uh, has compassion at the heart of its vision and says that it is the test of true spirituality. Every single one has evolved its own um, version of the golden rule. Uh, never treat others as you would not like to be treated yourself. And said that this uh, is the criterion of faith. Not one of you can be a believer, said the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, unless he desires for his neighbor what he desires for himself. But who is our neighbor? Well, in the global vision, vision village, we are all neighbors. We are bound together more closely than ever before. Uh, we, electronically, politically, economically, and environmentally. We cannot live without the other. And all the uh, world faiths insist that we cannot confine our benevolence to a single group. We must have what one of the Chinese sages said, called Yan Ai, concern for everybody. Honor the stranger, says the Jewish scripture. Uh, love even your enemies, said Jesus. Reach out, says the Quran, to all tribes and nations. And it has long been clear to me that unless in our troubled and polarized world, uh, we learn to apply the golden rule globally so that we treat all nations, all peoples, whatever their ideology, as we would wish to be treated ourselves. We are not going to have a viable world for the next generation. And so uh, my charter for compassion, which is what I uh, asked Ted to help me um, uh, implement. Ted give you a wish, by the way, for a better world, and they'll pro promise to try to make it happen. So I asked them to help me craft, create, and propagate a charter for compassion, which was written uh, by hundreds and thousands of people uh, from all over the world online on a multilingual website, and actually put together by a council of people, of leading activists and thinkers in six of the major world religions. Uh, we launched the charter in 2009, and already we have 150 partners worldwide. And um, I came here to launch the charter in Pakistan. And I have to say that thanks to Amin Ashwani, uh, my dear friend, who is, has organized an incredible team, an incredible program that could put Pakistan at the very head of this uh, initiative for a more compassionate world. And message that would be for, for, for the world, for, that are people on the front line of so many of our troubles and conflicts should issue this summons to compassion. Because above all, the Charter is a call for action. Um, and it's not just a fee, ever meant to be a feel-good uh, factor. We have to learn how realistically, practically, we can implement the golden rule in the troubled circumstances of the 21st century, in business ethics, in education, uh, in politics, in, um, in every walk of life. Uh, and it's a summons to every single person to ask what he or she can do in his or her particular sphere to make the world a more compassionate place. Uh, well, what is compassion? The English word has become so vulgarized 
that people often seem to think it simply means feeling sorry for people. Uh, but in fact, uh, compassion does not mean pity. Uh, it comes from a Greek Latin root which means compathe, uh, to endure with, to suffer with another, to put yourself consistently in somebody else's shoes. Never treat others as you would not like to be treated yourself. Look into your own heart. Discover what gives you pain. And then refuse, under any circumstance whatsoever, to inflict that pain on anybody else. Do not treat others as you would not like them to treat you. Um, every, uh, every tradition has its own word, its own take on this. And I've tried to explain all this uh, in my uh, book, 12 Steps to a Compassionate Life. Now, in a Muslim um, uh, country, uh, the, the reference of that title uh, may, be, uh, uh, may, may, may not grab you. Um, it's a deliberate reference to the 12-step program of Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, but I, it was quite deliberate in a way because I think we are addicted to our prejudices. Uh, we are dependent upon them, as dependent